Okay, welcome to Ground Zero. This is um, an offline raid. And I don't want to jump into an online raid right now because um, in a couple of hours, I'll be streaming and I'm doing the extreme zero to hero challenge this whole wipe. So no scavs, no traders up until a certain level, but we'll talk about that when the time comes. So right now, I just want to check out the new map. You know, once we get into it, I don't want to be completely lost. Uh, apparently, this is like... Um, baby streets of tarkov you can call it like streets of tarkov alley <laughs> or uh sally all right okay so okay this doesn't work okay it works so it's release uh let's get into the vaulting first shall we so if you hold down space and then go and climb something and release it he's gonna climb it all right, so I don't have it set to uh, automatic mode. You can also do that. So let's say you want to vault over this. There is an option for automatic vaulting, but I don't want to do that. You know, I want to have as much control as possible. So I'm going to hold down space, approach, and then release. All right, it's right, it's got some flow to it. It's nice. This is nice. And if you want to jump, you just... Yeah, this, this needs some change. Um... It's kind of instant, but you gotta do it immediately. Because if you hold it down, he's not gonna jump right away. All right, uh, so mouse four by default is your shoulder switch. And then if you lean while your shoulder is switched, I think you're gonna be exposed much, much less. So that is great, right? I like that. Um, first thing I wanna do is um, check my extraction points. So yeah, like I said, uh, tonight I'm going to be streaming live on Twitch and uh, I have a special little challenge for this wipe. I mean, it's not little. That's what she said. Oh, okay. So I'm going to be doing it zero to hero. So no gamma container. Yes, I know it's going to be painful, but it is what it is. Yeah, this is Streets of Tarkov, man right? Like baby streets of Tarkov. So this is an offline raid, like I said. So let's go ahead and just like roam around the map, try to find certain extraction points. So, you know, at least I know something about the map. Kaspersky. Okay. Uh, I want to shoot some scavs uh, and test out the recoil upgrade or rework, whatever you want to call it. Also, I don't have a tactical rig, so I can show you guys the, uh, the armor changes. Emercom, Mira Prospects, whatevs. Um, all right, let's try to find some scavs and shoot them because I'm really curious to see how the armor upgrade is going to, uh, the recoil upgrade is going to work. Oh, look at this. It's a dead USEC. Maybe we find an armored rig. No. This guy's cool. Nice drip, buddy. All right, so yeah, this is, um, honestly, it feels like a, Streets of Tarkov expansion, like the the vibe is totally streets, right? Maybe this is an extraction point. Taxi. Cool, we found a taxi. So this is police checkpoint. Okay, we got the police checkpoint. So it's um, you find this, yeah, this is we, we're just gonna call this Skyside, right? So it's right by Skyside, and the broken down. Funny looking building. Let's go this way. Finance. Is this finance? What is this building? He's gonna call this USEC corner. Okay, so one extraction is right there. Like, my current orientation is non existent. Um, I don't know where the scabs are, man. Uh, if you're wondering about the performance, like I said, it's okay. 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 Plus, I'm recording off of a single PC. Oh, so this is a terror group building. Right, we're gonna go down there as well. Let me just turn this off. This is completely raw, man. You know, I feel like I wanna make a lot more videos, you know, and uh, I'm always in the mood of, you know, heavily editing them. Oh, it's my stamina. Let's try and vault over this. Okay, vaulting is working. Fine. I wish uh, he would do it like uh, a lot smoother and faster. That's what she's. We could. We could. We could. This is an extraction point, dude. So if we follow this, this says exit. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's down here, actually. What? What, what is it called? 
maybe it's here. So we got Emercom Checkpoint and Myra or Mira Prospect. Those two look like the only ones that are, you know, perpetual. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to check down here, see what we can find. Okay, this is actually lootable. Uh, what was I saying, man? Yeah, like I always want to create more videos, you know, up that quantity a bit. And I'm always like stopped by my need to uh, over create. If you want, I'm wondering where the scabs are. So this is cool. I thought this was um, going to be a super small map. This is not like that small. That's what she plus I'm going to be doing the zero to hero challenge. So just imagine this man, right? I'm going to be playing without my secure container. If you guys want to tune in, I'm going to be streaming from uh, 9 p.m. CET. So that's literally in like two hours. So you guys feel free to tune in and, you know, call me bad or whatever. Like, you know, mm, I really want to find some scavs. This looks like, yeah, not an extraction, but we'll loot this guy. Whoa, this is a good find, man. But yeah, definitely getting some heavy Streets of Tarkov vibes. This is the terror group building. Three, two, one. Oh, it's not. What building is this? Oh. Uh, all right. Not sure where the scavs are. Was I here? Oh, yeah. Wait, no? I'm kind of lost. This says exit. Oh, you can loot this guy. This is Ragman. Look at this guy. Who killed Ragman? Yeah, I'm not going to pick anything up, man. Yeah, look at him. Ragman. All right. Uh, push this way. If it's guiding me this way. Yeah, let's look for more clues. Giovanni Peducci. Right. Nothing over here. So I always, um, you know, tend to stick towards, oh, tend to stick towards the uh, edge of the maps, you know, when I get into a new map. I want to vault again. That's great. Oh, we got a dead scab over here. Oh, it's a dead USEC. I, dude, I'm loving the new poses. Bro, you can tell that uh, they've put some work into this. Like always, you know, I love their map design. You're going to check if this is an extraction. No, it's not. We got a grenade box down there. Another dead USEC. Dead bait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we got a sniper. Bye bye. Hey, this is a great opportunity to show you guys this. So if you go to inspect screen, you can take out the plates, right? And I'm guessing you're gonna be able to put various different plates inside, but uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Built in, okay, so this has built in. And we have one front plate and the back plate. So the chest, uh, back and groin stays the same. And I'm guessing if this takes damage, I reckon you're going to be able to repair this. So, uh, yeah, let's actually wear this. All right, we're back in. So there's a sniper at Nakatoni Plaza, which is quite useful that we died in an offline rope, which is uh, quite useful to know. Uh, so uh, the sniper is right there and I can't wait anymore. So let's shoot. Dude, they... Okay, um, on a scale from 1 to 10, I give it a 9 out of 10. This is so much more controllable. Right, standing up. Oh, we are in business, my dude. We are in business. This feels so much better. Battle state games, you have outdone yourselves. This is great. I'm like barely pulling my mouse down. Like I have that. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I reckon when you do um, increase the skill of, uh, let's try this. Still doable. When you do increase the skill of recoil management, I just think it's gonna be uh, less of a horizontal spread. 
This is totally fine, man. I think you guys are going to be happy. I'm happy. That's great news. So, um, let us find the extracts. Dude, this map is like super easy to learn. Um, one thing that we still have to find the extraction points. And, uh, you know, that would kind of wrap up uh, a crash course on, um, whatchamacallit, ground zero. So we already checked extractions are not there. Exit. Wait, wait, wait. It literally says, it literally says exit. Are they, uh, joking? The sniper is right there. Dude, if I go and get shot. It says exit. It says exit. Oh, it's a signal flare. Okay, we found the flare exit. Never mind. If I go this way, what's the red thing? Oh, mines. Okay, we're gonna stay away from that area. Look, mines. Mine, go boom. That way. Stay away from. I'll go here and uh, try to like spot another sign just so uh, I can be helpful to you guys. Okay, definitely stay out of that area. Because there's mines over there. Extraction is somewhere else. Um, okay, let's go back here and up these stairs. Up the stairs we go. I want to find a regular exit. Uh, I think it's a great introduction to Streets of Tarkov for uh, whomever didn't play it yet. The recoil feels great. I don't know why every scav has the revolver shotgun, but whatever. So let's try and find more clues. Yeah, that didn't hit. I'm just gonna ignore this guy for now. Switch my shoulder. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, so uh, this is the co-op extract and there's another extract this way. So let's go ahead and find that one because uh, I'm pretty sure we're on the right track, okay? So I think it's safe to say it's not leading down. And this and this are, yeah, I don't think it's pointing to the same one. But let's follow the edge right here. Okay, okay, look at this. Exit. Arrow is going right here. So maybe we end up finding a checkpoint. Maybe by the tent or by the staircase or something. If I do, uh, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Bro, <laughs> so let's um, let's sum it up. You got the scav extract right there. If you follow, uh, if you follow this wall to this very staircase, and the dead scav extraction is right there. And it's called what is it called? Okay, Emercom is right here. So you got the signal flare area down there. Uh, this is an easy map, man. So uh, yeah, I can't, dude. I can't wait to hop on. So let's revisit Dude, the scab. Look at the recoil pattern. This is me not trying. Uh, okay, trying a little bit. This is if I don't try. So you got the initial kick, right? But uh, it's still like, and this is if I try. It's pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and extract and uh, I'll wrap this video up. Again, I'll invite you guys to join me in like two hours on Twitch TV slash FairTX, and uh, I'm gonna be doing the Extreme Zero to Hero Challenge. You can call it like hardcore, hardcore or whatever. And we're gonna be checking everything out. And again, I'm gonna be playing without my gamma container. So come experience the pain with me. And uh, I wanna say thank you so much for watching and happy new years uh, and Merry Christmas, of course. And uh, yeah, see you soon.